Hello everybody, my name is Tucker, and welcome back to our Russian Fishing for our Float Fishing. Today, I came over to Cory, I cast out, and it immediately started raining and the wind got very heavy. We'll see if we stay here, but hoping for some Vendis. Because of the wind, I'm only going to use one rod today. Uh, we are right off the key, over by the boat, I'll call it boat ramp, over by the boat dock, I guess is the right term and looks like we got a Vendus on the first try quite a marker but we'll take it wind has actually died down a little bit I cast out right here and then 10 mile an hour wind blew it over 10 meter per second wind blew it way over We'll see what happens with the rain. And it's very cold, I just realized, too. It's four degrees out there. Almost like, actually, it's colder here in real life. It's 54 degrees Fahrenheit today. And now they're saying probably snow here. In Good old Midwest weather. There's a decent Vendus, I think, 156 grams. Wind's died down enough. Look at my second hit setup. We are using, I've got a size 19 hook on this rod with Mayfly Lark. 16 over 2. I think the wind's died down enough that it's not a second rod. All roach. All Vendus, I think. Yep. Nice scram. Not going to try three rods with. Wind. Wind is being the type of fish you gotta pretty much grab as soon as it's on. I just realized I probably forgot to change the depth. It's like it's still at hog depth. At least I've already caught more fish than I did all of last episode. That was pathetic, but it is what it is. Actually, just a better title. Three Frog Night and so. Rock and Roll Band. I've actually seen Three Frog Night live. Well, past their prime. They still put on pretty decent. Probably 2008, 2009 that I saw him somewhere in that range. Company I work for. Isn't that an event? Company I worked for at the time.
Probably gonna miss a fish on two. Try and get it, but maybe too late. Yep. Uh, so 155 gram bendy on rod one there. Pretty Today's more of an XP day than a silver day for me. Hoping for good buy rate. Rain complicated things. I did. traveled here. And I saw it raining. It was too late. I had already spent the money. Cast out. So I figured I'd give it a try. I am fishing one meter deep. Ooh, didn't expect to get that. We have both rods at one meter deep. I don't know if you saw that fish, it just came up and bit it, and even nibble it. Oh, the bait hit. What the Vendus is going to do? Grab it and go. Sometimes they'll nibble like this one's doing. That might be a white. White bream. Ooh. That was a surprise fish. I was just thinking, I don't really know where breams are here. Thinking it looked like a bream because it looked like it was pushing the. Uh, Float up rather than pulling it down. I'm going to miss the fish on two. Especially if the internet being a butthead. Yeah, Rick slowed way down a bit ago. Open, we don't have connection issues. But it is what it is. The wind's picking up with the cold front blowing in. I live in an area that has above the ground power lines and communication lines. Got fiber. So, wind blows. I'm also in an area that has oak trees from the 60s. Wind blows. They break. Most of the one, most of the really old trees along actually fallen over recently, so I think we'll be okay for a while, but you never know. I am also on the power grid as a local elementary school, so usually lose power. Fix now type of situation. 
a neighbor's tree fell on the power lines. We had folks in our backyard for 48 hours trying to drill a hole in the ground to replace the power. Around now, it was cold, it was snowy, the ground was frozen. Had to take a chainsaw to the old one, cut it up, and an axe. We went over to Quick Trip and went to grab them coffee at like 10 o'clock at night because they staying warm. Got there. Quick Trip manager was wondering why we were getting a whole bunch of coffee. Power workers. I'm about to make uh, some new ones, some new coffee anyway. Hold off, so poured out what was in there, made fresh coffee, and then told us to go ahead and take it to him. Didn't even charge other neighbor. And it was fun. We uh it was one of those good old we, we sat it in the in the yard and said, if it happens to disappear, we're not gonna complain and you you know, we're not bribing you or anything like that. In fact, we didn't even have to pay for this. Gave the uh, guys a good laugh because they technically weren't supposed to accept gifts like that. Uh, all of the, I think we got like 10 or 12 cups for four people. It was all gone in the morning when I woke up. I'll put back in the uh, drink carriers. With, they actually put a couple of pieces of the old telephone pole in there to hold the cups down. The winds picked up, didn't want them blowing around my yard. They told me they did that when I came out to pick it up in the morning. That was a fun day. Our pole breaking, of course, the tree pulled the electric meter off my wall I also pulled out the main line from it then in my breaker so I had an electrician come out before they even fixed the power pole and he was able to put a new meter box on my wall he didn't notice that the main line was half out of my main breaker Had to come by a couple days later, a day later, went to go use my stove and it wouldn't turn on. Oven wouldn't turn on, went down there, breaker hadn't flipped or anything like that. And then I tried to turn on something else on another circuit in a room I don't go into too often. We got a flashlight and looked closer and saw that the line was about 16th of an inch out of breaker and of course I ain't touching the main line I'm not an electrician I actually called the guy right then and there it was about five o'clock night and told him what I saw and I you'll be fine but I'll be over in, at 8 a.m. in the morning to fix it. I should check that better he was there fixed it didn't even charge me second trip or the he actually ran a new big old one gauge line. Didn't even charge me for that. And I felt bad and I'd paid him for an emergency visit. This was I want to say it was a Saturday or Sunday. Still have the old meter box laying on the laying up against my house, and this was years ago. I wanted to have it and fun backyard story time. The fire pit did Vendus. 
Fight rate's been pretty good here. Not gonna lie. Be happy. They haven't been amazing sized fish. Been a good number, good quantity. Got 20 fish and 15. And this 116 grams. A little quick on it, but I knew this fish was about to be on. This looks like another 100 and something. This one actually looks bigger. 235 grams. 65.4% on flip. And I was waiting for uh oh uh oh got it he got her one point one six three kilo eyed nice fish two kilo line a two and a half kilo line. That one definitely qualified as a nut. And this is a spite in both of these. Which one's going to go for it? And this. 100 gram? 400 gram? Still a good fish. And this one now. Go. That was an insta bite. Wait. I see record. I couldn't read it. Uh, water body record eyed on Telestick. Regional water body again. For those that uh, may be watching this in the future, they did reset all the records for 2023, and it's the 8th of January. Still pretty early on in the overall records. If that even qualifies as a weekly. Red surprise. Not surprised. Actually, I'm a bit. Eh. I'm not surprised it's a water body because it's just hides are rare and don't really here. I don't think it's on the trophy card either. Ouch. And pulled hard. Hmm. 
28 fish in 20 minutes. Happy. See this one, it's another Vendus. Looks like a decent one. Bit bigger than that. Thirty eight gram Bendis. Is a good Vendy here. Fifty one. Haven't checked the cafe, but I kind of have finished this spin fishing episode. It was a big trophy bin disorder. I say it's probably even a blue trophy, but not expecting to get anything. In the cafe. We'll see. I think it was a 650 gram. Eve is it's trophy at five hundred, blue trophy at got greedy. Not sure if the fish is on. And just tend to be pretty quick bite and let go type. Pull in something. Andy? Things confused me a couple times. I think I saw raindrops that I thought float moving. Good Vendus. Two three hundred. Sixty two grams.
you. Ninety five. Don't expect a super good silver day. This is more just a fun catch fish day. Definitely been a good bite rate. Pretty decent XP too. Non marker of a hundred and twenty six XP. Markers of six, seven, eight hundred XP. <clears throat> XP. I'm not going to complain. Whether it's definitely changing. Started. Sixth grade. Many, many. YMCA basketball. Stressful. It's in a weird spot where it's typical. Just wouldn't see it. It took an MRI to see it. Just saw it. As a sixth grade kid, I knew I'd broken my leg coming out of the MRI. Broken, fractured. I, at least we could explain what had been going on with me. Messed up. By that time, almost. Ended up putting me in a little brace, which ended up giving me itis. For where I grew up, you would switch from elementary school to junior high school, sixth and seventh grade. So I started at a new school with a weird brace on my leg. And that's also where you switch from staying in the classroom all day, going to seven different classrooms. So I walk around the hall. All of that. I had to get a special pass from from the principal and all that that said I could. It's about two three minutes early, especially if I needed to go up and down stairs or the elevator. Super slow and scary. About three three out of every ten times I was in there, I ended up just giving up, going up the. There's I couldn't move my right leg or couldn't bend my right knee, but still was better that way. Still have kind of tendonitis tendonitis in it. It's cold. Weather changes and going from fifty degrees to single digits in snow. Hey, you know, if you you hear your grandfather's and all that saying your knee hurts, all right. Also got a screw in my left hand. It's not too bad yet. It's gonna be too bad. no storm, but I can definitely feel the weather. It's Vendus there. Say I'm old, but I'm definitely young in either. It ain't fun.
don't know if the the uh, microphone picked it up, but my knee just popped. It was one of those painful pops that also is a very good pop. But... Go mute real quick because it hurt pretty bad for a second. Then that good old relaxed feel. Definitely some change in pressure out there with whatever cold front's blowing in. That's what I saw we were supposed to get an inch of snow in two hours. An inch of snow starting in two minutes, it's supposed to happen. For us, that's quite a bit of snow. It's usually a day long snow. Hope it's not too bad. There. Downside is everything from the last snowstorm last week and it's, it's finished off melting. Or of tugs with a dog inside Friday. He won by almost pulling me down because. We were playing tug of war in the part of the yard that had the most snow on it, all melted. Lucky, slick, floppy. A little bit of a hill there, and he used gravity to his advantage and almost ended up down on my butt. Mud. Definitely won. I don't. Blame him there. He was a smart dog. He stood in the dryer spot and forced me into a nice 308 gram. Forced me into the floppier spots. My yard. Kind of bottom of a couple of hills so especially my front yard water has been known to used to be one of my neighbors used to have kind of a fish pond it's their back paved over switch that hard so it just sinks in now also not too far from a little creek water tables already pretty high Tremendous. Pretty large river miles from the house too. A decent roach here. A Laker? Was. Want some more spin fishing content here? Link to my spin fishing focus characters play playlist. Got done recording there. Today was a good day over there. Started that account after this one, about 10 episodes in this account. Fair level. This one. Nice vend is 300 grams. I missed that button.
lot more fish on this account. But haven't been as good of quality. You also start with kind of the bonus rod, bonus XP rod, then fishing, so you love. Tremendous. Fifty five fish in thirty six minutes. Not bad. Marker. Pretty decent marker to non marker radiate. Not radio, ratio. Slept super well last night, so a little bit tired today just because slept so well. Woke up a little bit early, just not my usual time for going to the four letter W word, even though I didn't have to. Came out of a weird dream and couldn't fall back asleep. I'm not one of those that tends to remember dreaming, much less remember what happened in the Remember that one. I was definitely really far asleep. Fifty gram bindi. Happy dogs at it. In others have literally asked me a couple times if they know why their dog. Bark at this time. Yeah. Got a couple of security cameras up, and I don't see a reason for it to be. They don't seem to care. Got the little yappy Yorkshire Terrier. Little small thing. I think she's the king of the world. Barks at my 75 pound dog through the fence angrily. They catch each other when we're out on a walk. She's afraid of him. Chased her around a couple of times. Which 
she's got the fence between her. Stink. A good baby. Oh, we're gonna get a fish a minute for sure since we're at 40 minutes and 61 fish. Actually curious if we'll go to a full catch net. Good marker, Bendy. None of them have been amazing fish, but good quantity, pretty decent quality. Good Vendus. See if we get a burbot. Really the right bait for burbots here, but and to go for fish pieces. Say I have in the past. Once I can cast that out and not even have to pay attention to it at all. Shankling will go look. Expecting any fish from that one. And this is here. Saw someone get another Bendy, three hundred grams. One seventy five for Adrian. Like a smaller one. It might not have been, it might have been the angle. It's too late. Heard me smacking the one key trying to switch quickly.
came up and grabbed it right away. Nibble. All Vendus. Looks like a good size Vendy. And not quite as big as I thought it was, but still a marker. And on some apple cider and just had some of the spices go down the throat here. Local cider mill that makes apple cider. Thirty miles south of town, south of me, probably about south of actual town, but on the north end of town. Two hundred thirty-two gram Vendy there. Drops are doing weird things to my eyes. And it's the float dropping. style eyeball in this I don't think we're going to hit a full 100 fish in 60 minutes, but still very good. 74 fish in basically. Forty gram, Mindy. Might have missed that one. Back to head of a seventy five pound dog laying on my hand on my on the mouse. One.
upside down dog too. And on his back, pause it here. And just boobering there a bit. Set that one after I need to fish on it. I think you actually lose bait when that happens, but if I know fish probably took the bait off the hook. Would not be a thing to do in real life fishing when it's 2.1 degrees. Very cool. Two grand business. that one. It's a second. Oh, we're going to get something on the bottom rod. I don't know if it's actually on or not, though. I think it actually is. Half of it. I have had burbots on. Pulling, we're just kind of laying there. But quiver tip being light quiver spec angle versus black if it's. That's good. Rams?
Six gram fish. Two moving, but I was in the process of casting out already, unfortunately. Graham Bendy. Oh, the all the Vendus is out of the water here. I was thinking I might stay here just to get a hundred fish because yesterday. Quiet. This wasn't a super impressive fish. It may not even be a marker, right? Lost it, okay with that. Let's see there. A laker? Yep. That's a good fifty and six gram. Seventy eight gram. Small one by the looks of it. Just over an hour, we're only 11 fish. 100. I kind of want to keep going. Let's see. At the same time, if I get frustrated. Already had a good day.
Mendes? The 856 fish caught on its account. Mendes? Anyone of a hundred fish? The body record Xander. I didn't remember there being Xander here. Not uh, it was where else. Looks like a pretty Another small one. called their 93 fish in 64 64 and a half minutes not bad not bad at all we'll take a quick look at cafe see if any trophy had a decent eye, but not big enough. Didn't he? Nothing for the trophy. The uh, cafe. No trophy. So 93 fish. I'm going to say 135 to 140 silver. Yeah, 100. I think they're about a, going to average about a, Silver and a half a piece, but didn't we ended up with more smaller ones than I thought? Some of these workers weren't worth as I thought all of them would be a silver. Is what it is. It was a lot of fun though. Any any day you get 93 fish and that. Hope you all enjoyed. We'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye now.